Hi everyone, welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory and in this video I'm going to talk about conditional access. Now if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video I have discussed what is the basic difference between ADFS and Azure Active Directory, how to access different endpoints and which endpoints should be accessed by a particular set of applications. So this means what that by now we have a fair understanding of the entire authentication process. But the fact is that now we have to move ahead and we have to know how authorization works in Azure Active Directory. That means what authorization in Azure Active Directory has been defined as conditional access. So the agenda of this video will be knowing what is conditional access, whether there is any license requirement and what is the basic architecture behind conditional access or when a conditional access policy is triggered. So to understand all this, let's consider a scenario wherein a particular user is trying to access an application and let's take an example of Exchange Online. Now with the proliferation of devices and making users productive wherever they are, they can be in office, they can be working from their home, we have to make sure that the identity is secured and they are getting secured access to a particular resource. So if you think about this particular scenario, this user can be sitting in our corporate office or this user can be sitting from their home. That means they can be accessing this particular application and they can be working from home. They can be at a different location apart from our office. But the fact is that apart from just thinking about locations, what we have to also figure out that it's about devices as well that when the user is inside the corporate office they might be using a domain join machine but when they are sitting in their home they might be using a personal pc just to make it a little more complex or just to let add one more layer of uh, predefining the process or bringing everything in scope we also have to focus that which app they are using are they using a browser or they are using outlook app so these are all the considerations that you have to make sure you keep in mind while defining any policy let's add one more use case wherein the user might have taken the corporate provided laptop to his place and now he's trying to access a particular application so now whatever you see right now on this deck they all are specific parameters on which you can define conditional access policies that means we have user we have different applications different applications can be accessed by different locations user might be using different devices and again different sort of client apps as well but if we talk about each of these parameters individually they do have some subcategories as well that means what when it comes to scoping a user for a conditional access policy you can actually scope the individual user object as well as you can scope a conditional access to a particular group or to a particular role in azure active directory when it comes to applications, you can actually implement conditional access policy for most of the applications which exist in your Azure Active Directory. When it comes to locations, there must be a reference point for Azure Active Directory to identify whether this location is known to me for a specific tenant or not. What do I mean by this? That in order to let the Azure Active Directory know that these are my trusted locations, Firstly, you have to add the IP address of all your locations in Azure Active Directory. The next thing is devices. Since we know that in a conditional access policy, there are only two options which you get to either include or exclude. The first one is hybrid Azure AD Join itself and the other one is compliant devices. Now, hybrid Azure AD Join device is a concept that gets applied to Windows only, whereas compliant gets applied to Windows, Mac, iOS and Android or the four platforms. The client app is something wherein, again, you have to be focused about uh, whether the user is using a rich client application or a native application or the user is trying to access a particular resource from a browser. You know, it can be OWA or it can be SharePoint online website. It can be anything. And the last thing that you have to make sure is also in your scope is the platform, whether it is Windows, Mac, iOS or Android. Now, if you talk about architecture of conditional access a very basic use case 
when a user is trying to access the exchange online which is protected by azure active directory but before the user can access exchange online he must be using a device coming from a specific network and the purpose of all this is to send an authentication request to azure active directory so that the credentials can be verified as I've said before, verifying credential is the first step that has to be done for providing any access. That's what we call authentication. But since as a user, you have provided your username and password, which is absolutely fine. But the fact is that the authorization process has to check whether you are supposed to access this particular application from a particular location that you are coming or not is something which is also very important from security perspective. Now, all this process is not new because we know the endpoint which is responsible to do all this is login.microsoftonline.com. Now, the question comes why I'm addressing this endpoint in a conditional access video or wherein I'm talking about the architecture of conditional access because conditional access will only be triggered once the username and password is validated. That means what? From Azure AD perspective, once your credentials are verified, since all this information will be sent to Azure Active Directory for every authentication request, Azure AD can actually make decision based on the user, application, location, device or client app. So this means what? All these parameters that you see here, they can actually be used to customize or to define a particular condition. Likewise, if a user is trying to access an application from a specific location, then you should prompt for MFA. This could be one conditional access policy. The other one can be if a user is trying to access an application from a specific location or he or she is using client app, that means let's say uh, a browser, instead of a rich client application, then the access should be blocked. So all you have to make sure that you are very focused about all these parameters when you're defining your conditional access policy, because depending upon the conditional access policy that you have defined, there must be a specific action which will be taken either to allow or block or allow with MFA. There could be n number of combinations that you guys can implement. So in a nutshell, if I talk about conditional access from a definition perspective, conditional access is an authorization model offered by Azure Active Directory as a service for which you require Azure AD P1 license. So this was all about introductory of conditional access. And in the next video, we are going to talk about portal configuration. That means I'll walk you through with the portal. I'll let you know about every option, what is the purpose of that option and how you can customize those settings. So if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any feedback, query or suggestion, please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.